Hello everyone, this is Caleb from Should You Play It, bringing you some epic news, and this may be the biggest story that we have ever brought you about the Epic Games Store, because Tim Sweeney, the founder and CEO of Epic Games, has just declared war against two giants. Now, last week we brought you a video called Tim Sweeney Attacks that was about him suddenly doing a lot of interviews, and no matter what the topic of that interview was supposed to be, he used the time to talk about how Google and Apple are abusive monopolies that misuse their power in the marketplace and abuse game developers with that power. Well, myself and a lot of other people said there must be something coming. This is not a coincidence, but what could it be? Well, we found out because this weekend my phone exploded with notifications, not from IGN and PC Gamer. This was from the BBC, from CNN, from Bloomberg, from Forbes, talking about this story. So let's break it down. Here's what happened so far and where it goes is anyone's guess. One of the things that Tim Sweeney criticized most about Google and Apple is that they charge 30% of all app purchases and in-app purchases on their platforms. Tim Sweeney finds this ridiculous, and here's what they did. Epic Games announced that on Fortnite, there is a new payment system that actually pays the money directly to Epic Games without paying Apple or Google their 30%. And Tim Sweeney was kind enough to say that will make the purchases 20% more, 20% more, cheaper for the players, and of course, an extra 10% is also going to Epic Games that normally would be going to Apple or Google. What do you think is going to happen when Apple realizes that their cash cow, where 30% of all money spent on apps and app purchases on the iOS platform, suddenly it might be threatened? Well, of course, Apple immediately kicks Fortnite off the Apple Store which is a huge deal because Fortnite is one of the most popular games in the world. A huge percentage of players are playing on mobile and a huge percentage of mobile users are using an Apple phone. And suddenly those players can't use their Apple phone to play Fortnite. And Apple is not looking great either because a lot of people want to be able to play Fortnite on their Apple phones. Epic Games absolutely knew that this is what would happen. They provoked Apple and in fact, Google also into kicking Fortnite off of their platform. Epic Games was ready. So they had an advertisement ready that immediately played uh, on, on Fortnite and was published all over the place. Let's see. This power is ours and ours alone. We shall prevail. Now, in case you didn't know, this is parodying a famous advertisement from Apple decades ago, I believe in 1984, when they talked about how Apple was challenging the big tech companies and Apple was the, the outsider. Well, now Epic Games is saying, well, Apple has become the monopoly. They've become the power and we have to challenge their control of this market. That was just the beginning because then Epic Games announces a lawsuit against Apple within a few hours. And this was a 60 page document they had prepared already because they knew what Apple was going to do. And they said, we are taking you to court. We believe that you are behaving like mon a monopoly and you are not exercising fair business practices by giving app developers no other choice but to pay you 30% for something that is not worth anywhere near 30% of all revenue. What this comes down to is Apple completely controlling the market for apps on Apple phones and saying, if you want an app on an Apple phone, we are gonna charge 30%. And especially for games, every single game and every single purchase inside those games, 30% goes to us. Apple is not just gonna let go of that opportunity. But Epic Games comes along, this $17 billion company challenging a $1 trillion company saying, well, we don't think that's fair. We have one of the most popular games in the planet. 
we are going to take you down and make you change your practices. Tim Sweeney actually tweeted out, at the most basic level, we're fighting for the freedom of people who bought smartphones to install apps from sources of their choosing, the freedom for creators of apps to distribute them as they choose, and the freedoms of both groups to do business directly. And Epic Games is also suing Google for the same thing, to allow game store apps and streaming services onto their platform and to end this 30% charge for all apps. Now, the situation with Google is a little bit different because you can actually still install and play Fortnite on an Android phone. Apple, however, is taking a different approach. They are going for the jugular. They're not waiting for this lawsuit to just get sorted out in the courts. They're going on the offensive. Apple is actually planning to remove Epic Games from the Apple Developer Program, which means that Epic would not be able to notarize Mac apps. This could make it extremely difficult, if not impossible, to install any of Epic's software, not just Fortnite. And let's take a minute to consider what that means. This is why Epic says that Apple threatens a catastrophic response if Fortnite doesn't comply with the rules. Apple is basically saying, well, bring Fortnite back, you will pay 30% directly to Apple, or we are banning all of your software. This would include Unreal Engine. And let's think about all of the games that are built on Unreal Engine. If Apple actually disables Epic's developer account, it means that quite possibly all games developed on the Unreal Engine might stop working on the Apple Store. Does anyone want to say, well, that escalated quickly? In just a few days, we have actually seen this company, Epic Games, worth about $17 billion, literally trying to break up a $1 trillion company and say, you should not have full power over these apps. You should not be able to charge just whatever you want. You should allow apps that circumvent your own systems onto your platform or at least onto your phones. And what the US Congress is considering breaking these company, this company up into smaller companies, Tim Sweeney is coming along and saying, I am adding a lawsuit with my billions of dollars behind it to say, yes, this is what should happen. Apple should be several smaller companies. Now, Apple is in a very difficult position. Also, they know this does not look good for them and they know their players want to be able to play Fortnite. And Tim Sweeney has come along and basically revealed to everyone, this is not your innovative and, and creative and friendly company anymore. This is a monopoly that's just taking what it can get because it can. Now, who knows where this is going, but this seems to be a fight to the death. If Apple and or Google don't back down, Epic could have a serious cut of its Fortnite revenue, which is what keeps the company alive, let's be honest. What allows for it to give away free games, what it allows to take a loss on the Epic Game Store, this is money from Fortnite, and a lot of that from mobile players of Fortnite. On the other hand, if Apple is forced through lawsuits or through the US Congress, to change its practices, it will also take a hit. It probably won't stop existing, but it will be making less money, the stock prices will take a hit, and its business model will be threatened. Where are we now? Apple has said that Epic Games has two weeks to comply with the rules or they will remove them from the Apple developer program. Epic, of course, has asked a judge to delay that because it's such a serious thing and it would have such huge ramifications. We don't know if that delay has been accepted yet, but this is all moving extremely quickly and it has the potential to change the gaming industry as a whole. It at least has the potential to change what Epic Games means in the future, whether it becomes a much smaller company or becomes a much, much bigger player in the games industry. Let me know what you think. Whose side are you on with this? Do you think Apple has a point? Are you siding with Tim Sweeney and Epic Games? What might this mean for gaming in general? What might this mean for the free games that we are so happy to get from the Epic Game Store? Do you think it makes sense for Tim Sweeney as a businessman, as the leader of a $17 billion company, to take this big of a swing 
at the two giants of technology. Leave all your thoughts down in the comments. I would love to have a discussion with you. This is a fascinating story. We're gonna try to keep up with it and keep you informed. Thanks for watching everyone, and we will see you in our next video.